Today I'm going to be talking about the Flying Solo collection from Essie. It was just released in November and I thought at first it was a spring 2020 collection because the shades are all springy, but it's not. It's just a random collection. And Essie has been coming out with so many collections lately, I really can't even keep up. This one I'm really excited for. They've been doing a lot of kind of shimmery pearly ones that I wasn't super excited about, but this one I really loved a lot. And there's a lot of fun colors that I think you guys are going to like too. Before I get into that, I get asked a lot of questions about some makeup, so I'm just going to go over that real quick. What I'm wearing on my lips is Smashbox... Famous mixed with MAC Blankety. Blankety washes me out a little bit, so I had to add this to add a little bit of color so I didn't look completely dead. <laughs> and then I outlined it a little bit with this Nighthawk 24-7 um, Urban Decay Pencil. And I'll have links to all the products below. And I love this palette so much. It's the Anastasia Subculture Palette, and it's got some really nice warm tones and cool tones. It's got some nice greens and browns and that's what I'm wearing today. And then for my face I'm wearing mascara, cream, makeup, so I've got the cream highlight color and then bronzer and contour highlight and then this shade here so it's all here in one palette. I love mascara and makeup so much. Okay let's get into the review. So I think I'm just used to all these dark colors and these bright colors were just so fun to swatch. The formulas on all these are fantastic. I think there's three shimmery colors and the rest are all creams and you guys know how much I like creams and I actually really liked a few of the shimmer polishes as well too. Again with Essie's new brush they are amazing to apply. It's funny when I do comparisons because I use that brush and then I go back to some of the older polishes to do comparisons and the brush is so skinny but I still managed to do very well with the skinny brush just because I got used to it so much when I used it before but it's just weird to go back to that skinny brush anybody else feel that way so this collections about solo traveling and the adventures you have on your solo travels the names all kind of go along with that I really love the names for it these colors represent colors that you might see out the view of your plane window the sunrises sunsets and all the things that you would see on your adventures this first one is reach new heights and it's this kind of peachy nude polish with this nice golden shimmer in it I don't love these colors on my skin tone they just look kind of blah but if you have a darker or even a lighter skin tone these are gonna look really pretty on you it's got that golden shimmer as he's been doing that quite a bit the formula is pretty good it was opaque in two coats I couldn't get it opaque in one but it really just applies beautifully and that gold shimmer really is pretty I don't think I'll be reaching for this one much but I think it's a good addition um, not much more to say about this one and let's get into the comparisons The next one is One Way for One. That's such a fun name, and it's this nice bright pink. It's a medium toned pink, but that gold shimmer really brightens it up on the nail, and it's definitely going to show up. It's like a nice gold flash. And I think a lot of you guys are going to like this one. This is one that I really liked, and I typically don't wear colors like this. I think I will reach for this in the summertime. It just seems so fun to wear outside in the sunshine. It's just so bright and fun. Uh, the color base reminded me a lot of Mod Square, maybe not as bright, but that same kind of color tone but again that golden flash kind of brightens it up even more than that so if you like mod square you're gonna really like the color tone of this one this light pink one is free to roam I love colors like this so much it's a pale pink but it's it's reaching up to the medium tone pink so and it's really bright and fun this is one of my favorites it's a bubblegum pink and I'm pretty sure it's similar to a lot of polishes you have out there but I think it might be a little bit brighter I could not find my bottle of OPI Mod Bod what is it called? Mod Bod. <laughs> I think it's called Mod Bod. Anyway, I couldn't find my bottle. I don't know where that was, but I believe it's going to be kind of similar to that one. But this formula is excellent. I got this opaque in two coats. And with that brush, I mean, this is going to be your favorite pink, I think, just because the application on it is so fantastic. So I think a lot of you are going to be reaching for these. I'm not sure if this is limited edition or not. I will put on here if it is, because I'm not sure. I honestly don't have a lot of information about this one. So let me find that out, and then I'll try to add it here so you guys can see that and have that information. This one really has me craving spring and summer. It just seems so crazy to be even thinking about that yet. I might wear it this winter though. I love wearing these light pinks in the winter time as well. And let's get into the comparisons.
another fun bright yellow and this one's showing up a little bit lighter than it really is this one is called check your baggage that's such a fun name and it has a little bit of orange to it right here it's looking like a bright neon yellows are really hard to capture the true the true light but I think you guys are really gonna like this one. Out of all the yellows that I compared it to, OPI has a lot of kind of medium tone yellows, SE doesn't. I like this one the best for sure. It's a little more subdued and it's not quite so in your face and it's it's pretty. I think you guys are gonna like this one. I got it opaque in two coach, which is quite good for a yellow. I do have one spot on my nail that has a high ridge that I have to cover up with a lot of polishes, just maybe one more time. So that ridge wasn't covered up. All my other nails, two coats, coats and it was opaque and if you guys have ever applied yellow polish you know that that's amazing that you can get it opaque in two coats so I think you guys are gonna really love this one and let's get into the comparisons this next one is you do blue and I think a lot of you are really gonna love this one it's a nice periwinkle blue and it has this nice <laughs> I always say nice I listen back to these and I'm like, it's nice, nice, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> I'll try not to say it, but they're all nice. I like them. Okay, so this has a nice purple shimmer in it. I can't not do it. It shows up, but I think what I like about this one, because I don't like shimmery colors, is that it really just makes the blue brighter and it glows on your nail. It's not so much the shimmer you can see, it's just it really makes the polish bright and stand out. So this one was really fun for me. It's about the same color tone as Essie Bikini Sotini. I did some comparisons, but really there's nothing that compares to this. It's quite unique, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looked compared to other colors that are similar to this. And let's get into the comparisons. And this next fun one is called Flying Solo. It's the namesake of the collection. This one is quite unique. I tried to pull all these pinks I have. I have a lot of pinks. It has some orange in it and also some peach and some pink. So it's almost like a strawberry shade. I do not have OPI Strawberry Margarita and I believe it might be close to that one. I do have that one in gel, but my bottle's a little bit old. So the color's a little bit off, I think. But I believe this might be close to that. I'm gonna have to maybe search online and see if I can't find that. That one but I have nothing like this I have things that are kind of close but I just couldn't quite match the color tone this is a little bit warmer but not so warm that it's pulling more orange it's really pretty this is one of my favorites from the collection and I feel like it's so unique and I didn't have anything that was exactly the same as this and the formula is fantastic too I believe it's opaque in one coat I always do too and I believe I'm going to show you guys two coats but it's just such a fun polish and let's get into the comparisons This next one is check in to check out. It's not gonna be true to color in here, you guys, but so, so pretty, so pretty. I love shades like this. It's like a nice orange coral shade. I'll show a close up of the bottle. The formula is fantastic. It just goes on beautifully. These are the colors I love to reach for in spring and summer. Oh, and it has me craving that so bad right now, but we just got done with Christmas and it's so far away. <laughs> I'll probably be putting these away for a while so I don't get depressed because spring and summer aren't here yet. It is pretty close to an OPI polish that I love and if you've been following me for a while, I believe it's on my favorite OPI list. I have that video that I did with my favorite OPI polishes and it's SPF XXX. They're, they're not exactly the same but it's pretty similar to that. It's just a fun bright color and let's get into the comparisons. This next one is in plain view and I love teal polishes and this one's beautiful. It's perfect blend of green and blue. When I saw it at first, I thought, oh, this is gonna be pretty unique. But when I tried on a lot of the Essie polishes that I have, and I'll show you guys in the comparison clip, but they're actually pretty close to OPI and Essie. But the formula on this is so good. It's gonna be opaque in one beautiful coat. These colors tend to get kind of wonky in the bottle and so bottle gets discolored and so so I never know if I'm really getting the true color to those because they separate so much. I don't know why these teal polishes do that, but they do. But it's just nice to have a fresh new one and I really am liking this color. I'll probably wear this this winter because I think it's perfect shade to wear this time of year too. One of my favorites. And let's get into the comparisons.
And this last one here is without reservations. It's this beautiful color. It's a fuchsia polish and it has that gold shimmer in there, but it also looks like it has fuchsia shimmer in there too. It's quite, oh, it's quite unique and I didn't really have anything to compare this to. In fact, I don't think I did any comparisons. I didn't do any comparisons with this one as well just because they're so unique and I don't have anything like them. OPI has some, but they're, they lean a little bit more brown and this one's a more bright fuchsia color. It's not like a fall color. It's more like a spring color. So this one's quite unique. I think you guys might like it and it's bright and fun. Okay, so let me pick out my favorites. So I've got, I probably would add the yellow too. I think so <laughs> that's a lot it's probably all the creams <laughs> I really like this blue too Ugh. okay if I had to pick I'm just gonna do four so these are my favorites so I've got the teal which is in plain view the pink free to roam and the strawberry color flying solo and this nice bright coral check in to check out that'd be fun to do a design with those oh my gosh I can't I keep dropping all the polishes, but let me know what favorites were yours. Do you think you're going to pick any of them up? I always like to know what you guys like. It's fun for me to read the comments and check and see what you're liking. And it's also a good indicator for me to see what the people follow me are kind of typically liking. So it's kind of nice for me to know that. I hope you guys continue to have a good holiday and we will talk to you next time. See ya. Bye.